Hello, gentle viewers. This is Vindian, welcoming you to Imperator Rome. Uh, we spent an entire episode at peace, just trying to recover from our war with the Antigonid Kingdom. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do this episode, to be honest with you. Um, I have a very significant concern, which is the moment we decide to attack... Um, Anybody, frankly, the Celia kids might get involved. So I'm thinking our better choice might be to try to absorb the Dodecas Goinos and then try to make moves over here. I think that's the right call, to be quite honest with you. Because I think our, our easiest path to success is going to be attacking to the south and attacking to the east. So that's what we're going to do. We're also trying to make friends with Rome. They would be an alliance. Uh, we're already at too many relations, though. But I'm not really using the political influence I have now, so I'm going to go ahead and make an alliance with them. And if I get called into their war, I get called into their war. I'm not... Like, I don't care. Because we're not actually going to get involved. We're just not. Uh, I might send the navy out, but that would probably be it. Um, you're a reasonably good commander. It's going to reduce my prominence a bit. We'll lose a bit of prestige and some legitimacy. He must adopt our family name. Like, I'm more than confident that Rome can handle this without us. So I'm just going to hang out and we'll do our own thing. Oh, something just popped up. Oh, interesting. Akaya's loyalty is dropping again. Why? Oh, it's an isolated province. Can I release them? Um... Oh, we have a bunch of money. And if I have some influence, I can dedicate a holy site. Oh, that sounds amazing. I have the money to do that right now. Uh, Hades has no holy site. I'd love to give him one. He seems like a cool dude. Uh, where would we like to build that, I wonder? Maybe in Tiros? No, I don't want Macro Builder. I want... Which is my low, my largest province? My largest province is Lower Egypt. Then Upper Egypt. Remember, it's actually the reverse. I know that doesn't make sense, but that's actually just how it works. Um... Is there like a population density map mode? Let's have a look. Holdings, opinions, supply, population. A boop. 
This will tell me where most of my people live, which is what I'm looking for. Do you have a holy site already? You do. Um... So you've got a holy site there already. Ooh, or it could spend 400 gold and 100 political power to make a metropolis. Is Alexandria already a metropolis? No, it's not. That might be even better. Oh, no, it's not big enough. It's close, though. But no, I think a holy site is the best choice. But how do I actually make a holy site? I just saw that option somewhere. Find a suitable territory and select the dedicate holy site interaction. Great wonders. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, so I could really. This is actually where I release subjects. That's fine. Is, like, there's got to be a way to do it, right? This is relocating capital. Here we go. Here's how you dedicate a holy site. Okay. And I think Mendez would be a fine place to be a holy site for Hades. Do it. Nice. Of course, that's going to be a bit silly if we change religion, which is a thing we might want to consider doing, but... Alright, you. I would like you to go out and hunt enemy fleets. If they're on our naval range, let's at least pretend that we're trying to help. We have lost... We no longer have the legacy of Alexander... That's fine. Let's get this guy in. Ah! Ptolemy died. That explains it. Oh, we need a new researcher for our civic advances. And this will make one family not scorned, so we're going to go ahead and pick him. And let's see what our new government looks like. Governorships. I see. Alright. Um. Not economy. Government. Uh, I'm not terrible. I'm not great, but I'm not terrible either.
and I can increase legitimacy by spending 10 political influence. Let's do it. Oh no, it increases tyranny? By what? 0 0.02. I already have a negative tyranny. So we're going to do that. That's fine. But here we go. This is how we hold games. We can patronize the arts. Here's some of the things we can do with our political influence. And I can summon a war council to get a claim on a province. My biggest concern is they'd probably give me one on the sell you kids. And I don't want to mess with them right now. Um, I am now rivals with Philippos Magid. Sure. No, I'm going to make it troublesome. I'd rather lose legitimacy than make the Selly kids mad at me. Yeah, we're just hanging out because we don't have enough naval range to really do much. That's fine. Like, Rome, you're going to be fine. Oh, uh, I would like Alexandria to be happier. Do it. I was actually going to expand our navy a bit, and I still might do that. We have a daughter. Hooray. A bountiful harvest. I will happily take a giant sack of cash, and then we can go ahead and first expand our fleet. Um, I would like to expand this to a total of... Where's that button again? Here it is. How many ships do I want in this fleet? Well, let's look at the ledger. Uh, number of ships. We are second. So if we expand it by like say 20 ships, we'll have a pretty dominating advantage and i'm very i'm very okay with that um so you need to add 20 ships so we're gonna add 10 of each One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. perfect we will have a very chunky fleet um, what do we do to increase naval range? If we're wanting to get involved, uh, like, with our pals in Rome, I need more naval range. Will ports help with that? No, they don't. They do increase ship recruit speed, though. But I think I most want research... Build one there. I don't really need taxes or manpower so much. I do think assimilating would be very beneficial. Why is the marketplace making so little difference? Academy. Court of Law, Forum, a mill. You know what? Let's do this. Uh, let's find provinces we want to improve and then choose where to make buildings. All right, what's going on in Memphis? Let's 
let's do it this way. Okay, the number of pops. South Phoenicia, you're losing loyalty. What can I build to improve loyalty? Is there literally nothing I could build? Well, I guess, why are you disloyal? Ah, we need you to assimilate. That is what needs to happen here. Which I believe is a marketplace. So we're gonna build one, we're gonna build two there. I really wish e this would take the... Oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. And I can't build there. Uh, let's make some settlement buildings, actually. A provincial legation. go and that's it for my cash that's fine i could fire him we'll gain a bit of yeah we'll do that i'll fire him and we'll appoint a new governor a better governor The kind of governor that people could be proud of. I will take a tiny bit of tyranny if I can get them to assimilate faster. There we go. How quickly are people actually assimilating here? It's helping a fair bit. Um, we probably want to start working and try to assimilate some of these other populations to improve loyalty. Oh, the war is over now. Great. Can I release Akaya yet? Where is my actual province here? Because I will happily sell this. Where is this stupid territory? Okay, where is the bit that belongs to Egypt, please? Okay, it's here. Corinth, my, my friends, I would like to sell you a province. For even one gold piece, it's too much. How about Argos? You won't take it at all. Azania? I can get one gold piece. You know what? It's such a frustrating province to manage. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Plus, you'll like me more. Yeah, I don't really care about that. That particular province would have been a pain in the butt to manage anyway. And I can now import. I already have iron, right? 
I have that. I could import food. I mean, it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but maybe it needs to happen. Makes it cheaper to move around slaves. I don't know that I'm willing to, uh, to, uh, to bother with that. Salt makes legions cheaper. Why not? Lovely. Alright, Navy, go murder them pirates. Let me send Ptolemaeus. I wouldn't mind adopting Philon Castorides. Syria needs another governor, why? I'm not gonna come all the way down to you, am I? You reduce local tax, that's troublesome. That's fine. I know you're not the best, but you stop us from being scorned. Uh, let's go ahead and start absorbing Dodeskinos. It's going to take some time, but I think it'll be worth it. Ah, uh, we did not win, sadly. Who are you fighting, Rome? A bunch of jerks that I don't care about. Whatever. Granaries raided. We'll probably just honestly replace the thing. You've got the money. There's no reason not to do it. Where are you going, fleet? Um, let us have Hades come back. No, let's go with Ra. Let's increase our slave output. How's our economy doing? Should we consider, like, increasing army maintenance? Or our fleet maintenance? Or our forts? Yeah, I think this is fine as is. <clears throat> so let me take a look at a province and just remind myself. I know I did this last episode too. I just need to remind myself what gets created by what. So nobles make research points. Citizens make manpower and research points. Freemen make base tax and manpower. Uh, tribesmen just make manpower and base tax. Slaves just make base tax. So we really want freemen. That's what we would like to encourage. And I see some other jerk is a rival. That's fine. Minister of Excellence. Let's get national tax boosts. More money is more good. Can I do anything about any of my missions yet? I have to absorb Cyrenaica to get that. I haven't taken Sicily yet. A 
I really need the Thaumid or the Adulian Revolt to really like me. Oh, you take an alliance now. It needs to be at 120, so I think it's just going to take some time before we can develop that kind of relationship with them. Alright, we've got some cash. Let us go to our cities and let's try to make Freeman. Or we just want more marketplaces. To be honest, Pops Assimilating sounds amazing. Who's attacking Judea? Thamud and Nubatea. I'm going to offer you an alliance. And then I might be able to get you let us put more faith in our subjects to increase his loyalty. Um, Philippos, yeah, let me just set aside some money. Ooh, we don't have enough money yet. And I can't just unpause until we gain it. It's literally like one month of income, so maybe it'll be fine. This is going to improve by how much more? Because if I can get this up to 100, I can get it up to one. No, actually, I can do it right now. And now... I will happily take a loan for this. All right, where are Aswan and North Nubia? Okay, here we go. So we're going to need to attack. So I'm actually gonna, once I do this, I'll absorb Aswan and then we'll need to attack Kush. So that's fine. <clears throat> oh boy, I gained stability for some random reason. Karna, there's a civil war. I don't really care about that. <gasps> yes! Um... I really like to increase naval range. But I think even more important is improving some other things here. Potentially. That's going to make forts cheaper and gets us closer to that. But this is just an obvious choice, right? 
I have to get this one to make all of my uh, discipline better. And then as soon as I gain another tech, and this should be happening here very soon indeed. We'll grab ourselves some Fusterarium. Gimme. Uh, go for it. No, let's go ahead and free them. I'm more than happy to do that. Sure. Do you have any friends, Kush? Ah, I actually don't have a CB on you. So then I guess I have to wait, or just fabricate claims, but I can't do that until I've absorbed. Can I? Yeah, I have to be adjacent. So once I've established that, I can work on that. How is Alexander doing? Can I make it a metropolis yet? No, I actually need to increase your population cap. Which I currently can't do. So I'm literally one short of having another building slot. Uh, no, I can actually just do religious endowments. There we go. And then with the new building slot, I can build an aqueduct. Um, I don't really want to fire him. I'll lose a bit of popularity to increase his loyalty. Is there anywhere supply limit wise? Yeah, if we can get down to Swanet once we've taken it, that's a big enough city to give us proper supply. All right. Uh, I've spent a lot of our, our energy on military. I'd like to either look at Naval or one of these other trees here. Another capital import route would be quite nice. What would this do? You know what? Cheaper building and building faster is just good. Let's do it. Let's get advanced mechanics. Done. Um, what else would I like to build up? Our max manpower is actually kind of low. I could, actually, I could expand our army. Okay, let me do this part first. Build me an aqueduct. And then, with the extra population capacity, we'll get another slot, which it needs to build another aqueduct. See, I've got this all planned out. I kind of want to get some more manpower, which means improving Freeman happiness. And what can do that for me? Forums. I can rent. Why can't I build one here? Oh, because it's a settlement. Got it. There we go. 
some lovely flora. Another free innovation. Don't mind if I do. What does this do? Make citizens happier. That's good. Oh, that's it. Okay. What kind of things can I do with religious things? Okay, just the one religious tree. Okie dokie. I could make integrated culture happen. I need to work on integration, actually. I think that's another big thing. Reduce an aggressive expansion. Make aggressive inspection matter less. Make everyone more loyal. Diplomatic reputation. I like the sound of that. Let's get diplomatic reputation. That should also help us integrate faster. Harga. What is your what is your major malfunction? Uh I need them to stop being so disloyal. Why is your loyalty so low in the first place, though? Oh, there's unrest. Do I need to just pick a new governor? Like, it might just be his martial skill is so low that he's a terrible governor. Let's go ahead and appoint this gentleman. And that's basically fixed a lot of the issue. Ah, because he's gone for harsh treatment. You know what? I trust your judgment on that. Let's look at Dibiri. Why are you losing loyalty? So it's the unrest that's causing it, basically. What can I do to stop unrest? I could fortify the province. I can't build anything because the province is disloyal, but I think that's being fixed. I will happily lose a, a, some cash to gain some stability. Anything I can do... I could gain popularity. But no, let's go for a moon. Let's get us some manpower and some tax. Uh, so Dini declared war on Rome. That's pretty stupid. I don't know why they do that. You got this, Rome. Um, I'll say we can't just take in anybody. But we have now actually successfully upgraded this. Uh, I'm going to take my legion. I'm going to send you on down the way. To Syene.
I'll go ahead and import what you need to import. Um, I'll take this. I'll take the money. Just you try and stop me. Give me a fort here. Please. Because that's going to be my plan. I'm going to try to manipulate a war with the Kush. Apamine. Let me go ahead and make this guy the new... Oops. I think this is just the fact that he just sucks as a governor. Do it. And then you're gonna use harsh treatment to increase the loyalty, that's fine. I need a new Archeatros, and this needs... Oh, I see. Is any family feeling scorned the Legids are? This guy's not terrible. Done. All right, bro, you're actually kind of terrible. I'm gonna make you my new commander of the Legion. All right. Let me try the Council of War. And I did that by clicking on government. I don't really want to fight Judea, or Sidon, or Blemia for that matter, so I'm going to say a bunch of fools. And then we're just going to start fabricating. Because if we take North and South Nubia, we complete our next thing. How strong are you as a nation? Your military tech is really tiny. You've got a, a lot of pops. What do I know about your cohorts? You've actually got more pops than I do. Show me the cohorts. I mean, I've got a great navy, but that's not going to help me against Kush. Uh, game. Please. Please, game. Why can you not tell me how many cohorts they have in this screen? You tell me Miltak and you tell me ships, but that's all you tell me. I find that very frustrating. Can you tell me what civilization? You're a regional power, so you can't have a legion. All you have is levies. So maybe that's the issue. If I click ledger, let's sort by name. I've got 2,000 pops. Okay. Yeah, I think Nubia would only have uh, levies because they're not strong enough to have. Sorry, it's not called Nubia, is it? It's called Kush. It is called Kush. 
You have 38 cohorts. So this is actually not going to be as easy as I thought it would be. What is my current weight here? I could just drill the army. Um, where can I see my current weight? So I have 30, I basically have more cohorts in my legion than you do in your entire army. The three scenes of war is over. That's lovely. Why can I not see the claim I'm fabricating? That is frustrating. Untiring devotion. Lovely. Oh, it's right here. I'm blind as a bat. Alright, what is the supply like here? It's 17. My weight is 50. Yikes. I could divide it into two parts. Send Empedocles. Which time we have left? Got about 15 minutes. I'm gonna let this episode run a little bit longer. Um, if we can get through the war quickly enough. Excellent. Here, random jerks, you all want military access, go for it. All right. Um, let us advance to the border here, and then we will attack. Um... Our stability is great. Let's go ahead and get some manpower. We might need it for the war. I will gain good natured and get him some popularity. So I have a feeling this war could be over quite quickly. I'm not guaranteeing that, but I have a feeling that it might be. And I want to try to take North and South Nubia if I can manage it. All right. It is time for war. I'm not going to bother calling in Rome or Thamud. I'll just call in my pals. No, this could have the Seleucids attack us. Um, that is definitely something I should have concerned myself with. They kind of really like me, though, so I'm going to go ahead and improve their opinion. I'm not going to bother calling either of them. Uh, go ahead and carpet siege. I'm not going to call up any levies right now. I don't feel the need to. Oh, you know what? I could get four pops from Nubia. You can go ahead and help us carpet siege. A minor addendum. I will happily trade some influence for stability at this point. Oh, 
Oh, the game is paused. That explains why no one was moving very quickly. I get it now. Now, if we take forts, the entire thing should fall, but I don't know that they even have any forts. Yep, there it goes. Yeah, it's great. It really makes it easier to move things around. I absolutely love it. I would love to, if I can manage it. Ooh, a military tradition. Don't mind if I do. I get a free navy? Oh, but heavy infantry offense. You can't, you can't tease me with that. But yeah, I think we take North and South Nubia and then end the war. I'm not into too much right now. Uh, let me go ahead and stop automating my fleet. Please. And I'm going to send you right the way down. How do you lack access? Oh, is it just because you're not in the canal? Ooh, neat. So he is awarded a thing. I'm not sure what that does. Am I too big to fit down rivers now? Is that the problem? the thing is with that that's very strange i may just want to make like a personal army our personal navy rather for the legion just help them move around you can go hunt back to hunting pirates you seem to enjoy that Wait, there's a fort in Perugia. Where the heck is that? Oh, it's in Patiga. Where is Patiga? It's right here. No. Get over there. Because once you take the fort, everything else gets taken. That's what matters right now. I haven't even seen their army yet. Is it just like super deep in their territory? I mean, maybe. Oh, this is against the Kushian Revolt. All right. All right, now that we've taken that fort... We'll move in there. Yeah, you are very low quality troops. I have really high discipline. And who has more morale?
You know what? You're hardworking soldiers. I'm gonna pay you more money to give you even more morale. What a guy, right? What a guy. Uh, you're already pretty sad right now. Can I get what I want? I want north. Uh, no. Sorry. Sita province. That's actually all I want. I just want north and south Nubia. That's actually all I want. Uh, let's do it. Oh yeah, we get some gold mines. We get some really good stuff. I need Ptolemaeus Epithera. Ah, which would be fighting Blemia. That may actually be something we do later on. Uh, that may be something we even do next episode. I did get a fair bit of aggressive expansion, though. And I definitely don't want to cause any issues with the Selyu kids. Because if they dislike me enough, they're going to think about attacking me. I'm just going to send you a bunch of cash. Uh, you can teach him. Or I could send... I want to gain some popularity. I want people to like me. Mate, you're going to have to use harsh treatment. I think that's the only way to keep them loyal. Like, I don't even want your territory. I just want money. You want here. Create this lovely new nation. Yeah. Done. Ah, uh, you can go home. Ah. Ah. Legion, where is the nearest place I can supply you over here? Aswan, actually. All right. Let's go up to Aswan then, and then we'll go to the military view, and we'll tell the levy to go home. I wonder if I can now send my fleet down there. Is this just a question of the Navy is too big? I'm I'm doing a confuse right now. Wow, 
why can I only use is it just it has to be a river of a certain size is there like a river map mode I wonder but I do want to know my naval range too that sounds great Oh, and I have some of these are on here twice. So we had population, naval range, and government. Sorry, I want naval range. Oh, I clicked the wrong button, didn't I? I want population. Let's have, no, I already have culture and religion on there. That's fine. Yeah, that's all fine. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some research and figure out why I can't... Is it literally just because it's automated? Unit lacks access, but why do you lack access? lack naval range. So I think I just really need to invest in ports, maybe. Uh, let's quickly do that before we end the episode. And then if I switch to a settlement with a port. Ah, I don't really have any that I can add. I might as well just put a port in there. Yeah, I think I need tech to increase naval range. I think that's what the issue is. So you can go ahead and go back to hunting for pirates. And then, yeah, we're going to try to take these these guys out next episode. As soon as I've eaten Saranaika, I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, change my stance. But that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you folks have enjoyed it. Uh, let's I'll increase it by 0.75 each month. You know what? Let's end the episode by having absorbed the other vassal. Are you kidding me, game? Let's become pals. Um, and here we are, my friends. Another mission can be completed. So we need to appoint, oh, the governor has to be a member of my family, and then I can do some other things. I need more horses, please. There we go. Now, we are now directly bordering Carthage. So there's definitely a risk that if Rome attacks, that we'll get dragged in. But I'm frankly okay with that.
How do we compare to the Selly kids at this point? We're fourth. And I'm hoping that our alliance with Rome will give them pause about coming after me later on. Let's call down an omen. Let's make the freemen even better. And then, my dear friends, we're going to call here for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, this has been Avindian, and I bid you good day.